I got a real nice uh, message last night from one of my the forumites on uh, the Rickenbacker Resources page off the Birds forum page about the finger picking. And I told the guy I'd uh, demonstrate like uh, a real simple finger picking pattern. So that's what we're going to do here. Uh, once again, I'm, I'm using a, a, a thumb pick, but as you notice, the, the bottom of the pick here is real thin, and I forget where I got these picks at, but they're really great for this stuff, uh, as opposed to uh, the conventional thumb pick. They're, they're, I, they're too big and bulky, and they don't fit down in the strings right, but this is really a nice thing, and it's uh, it got a little bit of give to it, and I got a metal finger pick on the pointer finger, and one on the uh, middle finger. So I play that that way. I don't hold my pick you know, like that, and like Roger does at his later days. But I believe he started out like this, like uh, like the guy in the forum says. And uh, excuse me if, if I forget your name, but uh, thank you for the uh, great post and the great comment. But I'm gonna, I'm just gonna give you um, uh, a quick uh, little uh, a pattern here to do. And uh, the the trick to this is to just to learn it and not even think about it when you're doing it. Okay. So it's like with anything else, if you learn a guitar sort or something, you, you, a lot of things, you, don't, you shouldn't even have to stop and think what you're doing. Because once you stop and think, that's when your gun jams and you get all messed up. So um, all the, cho the chords we're going to be using will be A, D, E, and A. We're just going to use those three chords. Uh, and basically the pattern is going to be the same, it, it will be the same over all three chords. So uh, here we go, like on these YouTube videos we don't have a lot of time, so uh, we're going to start right out. Uh, let me adjust that, and once again I'm doing this on a telephone, so the sound quality uh, hopefully is okay, and I uh, hope you can see alright, but I'm not going to show you my left hand because I'm, I'm just, it's just a regular A chord. <laughs> D chord, E chord, A chord. So I'm not going to show you the, the, the left hand, the fretting hand. I'm just going to show you the picking hand. So the, the, the A chord, uh, I'm, I'm going to call out the strings. That are, uh, like 5, 3, 2, 3, 1, 3, 1. That'll be the sequence of strings. When the when the when it is fretted, when the you know when the uh, chord is played, and I'll we'll give you the the correct fingering. So we'll start out with the fifth string with the thumb, the third string with the thumb, the second string with the with the first finger, the the third string with the thumb, the first finger. The, I mean the first string with the with the second finger, which would be your ring, uh, your middle finger. Then the second string with your first finger. Third string with the thumb. And one, uh, the first string with your second finger. So 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 the the roll should go. So once again, it's, uh, it's uh, I'll call out the strings, then I'll give you the correct fingering. It's five, three, two, three, one, two, three, one. Once it goes, once again, those are the strings, and the uh, the finger that goes with them strings is going to be thumb, thumb, first finger, thumb. Second finger, first finger, thumb, and second finger. So once again, the, 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 the roll goes like this.
Okay, then it's going to switch to the D chord, and it's going to be the same, the same fingering, but the, 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 the notes are going to go four, three, two, three, one, two, three, one. And the corresponding fingers will be thumb, thumb, first, thumb, second, first, thumb, and second. It's exactly the same way as, as it was over the A chord. And then we're going to go to our E chord. Okay. And the, the, the strings are going to be sixth string, fourth string, second string, third string, first string, second string, third string, and the first string. And it's the exact same finger, fingering. It's thumb, thumb, one, thumb, two, one, thumb, two. So that's it. It's basically just, uh, you know, get the strings and the, and the picking. If you get it on the A, uh, the first chord, the, your one chord, it's the same picking pattern over all three chords. So once again, it goes. And, and when you go when you go down to the E chord, you can pick the uh, four string like the one, four. You can pick the octave like that, or go to the third string. They're both correct. And um, after you learn that, after you learn that roll like that real, real well, you could start adding like. Uh, you know, raising like the second string, you could go. Once again, it's uh, imperative that you use the right fingering. You know, uh, this is the way I play it. So that somebody else out there might have a better way to do it. Um, that's all well and good, but that's the way I do them. And uh, like I said, you could have, uh, once you learn this style, you'll never use a flat pick again, especially on playing 12-string guitar. It's, it's, it's so much fun. And um, uh, here's an example. Um, once you get that, uh, how, how you'd play that if it was double time, the way it would sound. So that, that you know, what we're doing here... It's very basic, so uh, it's, it, it's a very important that you learn that and learn it without thinking. You know, without even, you know, just sitting in front of the TV set with the guitar strapped on, I've been plugged in, just doing the roll over and over and over again. You know, and, and, and believe me, it'll come to you. One day you're going to go, oh, man, it's starting to come. This is getting funny. And, and you'll, you'll, you'll figure that out. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a blast. Once, once you learn it, uh, there's no going back to a flat pick, especially on these 12 strings. And, uh, you know, once you learn something like that, you know, we'll, we'll get on to this uh, later on. But uh, if you want to double time that, that's the way that it would sound if you were double time.
that's that's the beginning. That's how you learn that. You just learn that real slow thing for the fingering, and uh, go into that. Like uh, I believe he was a friend of mine by the birds. Uh, has that same type of pattern. It goes. That pattern and I, that I showed you it's real it, it seems like it's real boring and everything and um once you get it down maybe try to put a put a rhythm to it you know you got to put a rhythm to it you know you know and uh, once again the lick goes like this I'll just do it over the A Thank you for listening. If you have any comments or uh, suggestions or uh, any type of help uh, you would like out there, just uh, post it on there and I'll get back to you. And uh, once again, thank you for all the uh, great comments and everything like that. And I really enjoyed doing this. And uh, like I said, I don't want to wear my welcome up, but uh, uh, we got to keep this style of guitar playing alive. So uh, once again, um, thank you for watching and listening. Any questions, uh, uh, things like that out there, feel free to uh, post them on the thing uh, on the forum there, and I'll get back to you as quick as can as you can uh, as I can. Uh, thanks for watching and listening. Uh, see you soon.